So we hate that factoring by substitution stuff, which is okay. Uh, I, I was just speaking for myself. I don't know. Well, no, in, <laughs> because you guys are right. I mean, adding all these different techniques and stuff can be extremely confusing. And technically, on this, uh, something like this, especially, you don't have to, you don't have to do it, right? Well, I'm afraid if I see, like... We're always looking to factor out a common factor from all three terms, okay? In this case, even if we tried it, we wouldn't be able to do it um, unless you're, you know, fudging the math, which means that accounting may be good for you. I don't know. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right. Whatever the case is, we can't factor out anything from all three terms. So let's look to factor 12 so that we can get two terms that add up to, well, negative 4. And we're factoring negative 12. So I'm going to use 6 and 2, specifically negative 6, because the negative is bigger, which is going to produce a negative sum. So when I add these two together, I get negative 4 which means I can split that 4x cubed up into a negative 6x cubed and plus a 2x cubed. And of course we had what was there originally, the 6, uh, x to the power of 6 and the minus 12 at the tail end of that thing. So yes, factoring by grouping should work here. Uh, on this first set I can factor out an x cubed which gives me an x minus 6 and on the second set, oh, thank you. What the heck? Yes, do not forget that cube either. Thank you. And then on the second set, I'm going to factor out a positive 2, which gives me an x cubed minus 6, which is what we wanted. So when we factor out an x cubed minus 6 from both of these terms, in the second set of parentheses, we've got the x cubed and also the plus 2. Now, since, since we have an x cubed on this, we would be looking at the 6 and the 2 to see if either of those are perfect cubes. Mm, yeah, both of them. So, but since none of, neither of these are perfect cubes, we're in good shape. So if it was like instead of a 6, if it was a 9, then it would be a perfect cube. 